listeners and subscribers hope all is well you know i know that there's many people out there that would take this stance that we don't need to be paying attention to what's happening in other areas except for what's happening here in america because america has its own problems i i understand that but for example what's happening with the venezuela situation the venezuela situation is causing tensions between mexico and the u.s you know as if we haven't already been having that but also the u.s and venezuela and just like what we saw with the migrant caravan coming up from central and south america what happens if that's poised to happen again with the humanitarian crisis with the destabilization that's happening in that region we're gonna have to think about it then why don't we start thinking about some of this stuff now especially some of the information that the media is neglecting to put out there the thing is people put their thought processes off yeah we can think about an economic collapse situation later we could think about a totalitarian tito scenario later you know what i mean when it's knocking at the door so by the time it's here by the time it's action time Nobody has the precognition to do anything. Nobody has the capacity to respond appropriately for any of this because they weren't preparing themselves for these types of scenarios. I feel like in the back of our minds, many people would say, uh, I wouldn't rule out a potential government intervention scenario or a potential collapse scenario, but uh, you know, not, not soon, not in my lifetime. But if you've been paying attention to the economic hardships and the economic situations here in the United States, then you know what's coming. People talking about the stock market is good, the economy is strong, right? The stock market is not synonymous with the economy. I understand that they're baked in. I understand that. If you, But if you looked at how many stores have been closing their doors, you know what I mean? Prominent companies like PepsiCo, and they use words like restructuring and overhaul when all they really mean is, you know, sweeping layoffs. Sweeping layoffs and adopting automation. And, you know, and we've talked about Wells Fargo we, we just previously, right? All these companies shuttering their doors. What do you think a collapse looks like? Strategic investors pulling out of certain areas. We gotta be paying attention to this kind of stuff. This is telling us something. This collapse is happening very slowly. Uh, this isn't just about retailers not being able to compete against, you know, internet companies. And if it was that, if it was that simple, we'd have to be worried about that scenario as well. Nobody's preparing themselves for this. So by the time another migrant situation happens, an economic collapse, facing a future of automation and losing jobs, nobody's thinking about it. We're going to be reactionary. We're going to be reacting rather than being proactive or educating ourselves right now on how to navigate this future. We just like to be woefully ignorant to the last minute. And that is how the powers that be are able to capitalize on the mental malleability of us, right? The, the mentally malleable state that we're in when we don't know what's coming and we don't know what to expect because we weren't prepared because we didn't look at this stuff ahead of time. When you have an uncertainty about the future, when you're anxious or scared, you'll just buy into whatever solution they try to spoon feed us. You know, we see the telltale signs, okay? We see these telltale signs and red flags with these companies closing the doors and the increase of the national debt, the citizen debt. We see these things, yet we ignore them. I just don't see us successfully maintaining this model into the next 10, 20 years or so, you know, the social model or the economic model, to be honest with you. I see a lot of changes coming in both those realms and many more. We're going to hit a peak. We're hitting a peak now. We're heading over the hill. We're on a new trajectory that ultimately uh, we're really going to see the manifestation of this new world order. And like I said, we're already in it. But soon it's going to be unde undeniable to even those sheep out there but unfortunately it's going to be uh in a completely different paradigm for them they're going to see it in a different way where it's going to be acceptable for them okay this frog boiling in the pot scenario all this stuff is going to be twisted and spun in a way where the sheep is going to accept this uh, and that is going to be the new world order it's going to be undeniable and people are going to want it that's what they're aiming for uh civility is gone Division is here, and we've been at worst points in the United States before, there's no question about that, but the way that things are unfolding now, where we can't even have a amicable discussion about things we were able to talk about before, it's dangerous. It's dangerous that we can't come to an agreement because the moment that we talk about something, we jump straight to the divisive elements of it, you know, without even finding any middle ground. You know, abortions, healthcare, guns, immigration, you pick the topic, and you find that it's on both one end of the spectrum or the other, okay? You try to see how it easy it is to try to have middle ground conversation they're not interested in it and they've aligned themselves with their political echo chamber so you can't have a conversation with these individuals they don't hear anything contrary to it and when they do it, it goes in one ear uh, out the other the discussions aren't amicable they're not a, a deliberation or a debate it's it's nothing in the moderate or centrist realms it's very rare it's getting increasingly more rare where that's the case and that's why we're going to be unprepared for this stuff because these scenarios these conversations we can't have them without having an argument and they devolve and nothing constructive comes from it that's what we see with the maga hat individuals with people who are on the other side they ascribe characteristics to the 
person wearing the hat in wholesale without you know ever getting to know him and when they try to have a conversation it, it's it starts off uh, taint from the start so uh, it doesn't go anywhere you know they say you're not supposed to talk about politics or religion in polite company well look where the lack of conversation has gotten us and you've got to wonder if there aren't campaigns and initiatives out there to promote this line of thinking again as we saw with Smollett out there trying to artificially foment rebellion and incite hostilities over fabricated scenarios we have to wonder if there are other campaigns campaigns that haven't got exposed to that level. Okay, agent provocateurs in the media that create narratives that probably wouldn't be talked about in the first place. And these aren't narratives that go anywhere. They aren't constructive narratives. They aren't narratives that are ultimately going to be any better for our ethics or morals or anything like that. It's just why I'm right and I want to espouse my beliefs and I want to tell you why I believe why I believe. But I don't want to hear anything opposite to it. I've heard the other side of it already, okay? I've heard your arguments. I just want to let you know how I feel. That That's increasingly more what we see. And that's why we're going to be woefully unprepared for what's just around the corner for us. Okay, civil unrest, economic collapse, uh, civil war, political unaccountability, martial law. You, you pick it. You pick it. The people are going to get the short end of the stick on this. We're going to end up taking it on the chops. And a good portion of it is going to be our fault. It's time to start scrutinizing some of this stuff. It's time to come to our senses. we got to stick together. Quit falling for the divide and conquer campaigns. It's easier said than done, I understand. But just paying attention and inoculating yourself against some of this stuff is... The first step, uh, inoculating yourself and others, is the first step. Anyway, take care of yourselves out there. California Carter, signing off.